Good morning, everyone. And uh, thank you for attending the RISC-V Summit, and particularly my session. And I'm going to be talking about quick and convenient prototyping with microchips, Polify SOC FPGA, and the BeagleBird organization. My name is Krishna Kumar. I go by KK. I'm a senior product marketing manager at the microchips FPGA business unit. So today, I'm, I'm excited to talk about the Beagle 5 Fire. So BeagleBoard is a nonprofit organization that makes open source single board computers for embedded Linux applications. And their most recent launch is the Beagle 5 Fire, which is based on microchips, Polofire SOC FPGA, that's based on the RISC-V architecture. This board comes with extensive memory and storage capabilities, two gigabytes of LPDDR4s, 16 gigabyte EMMC, 12, uh, 128 megabit of SPI flash, and a huge uh, set of options for expansion. You have gigabit ethernet, M.2 uh, support for Wi-Fi, MIPI CSI port, a 6 gig high-speed uh, in, in interface that you can connect multiple high-speed uh, communication boards to the system. You can connect uh, high-speed ADCs and a whole set of hardware available for this interface. They also have the 46-pin BeagleBoard connector. This is a standard form factor connector that BeagleBoard organization has developed and have in all their platforms. And this enables you to connect with multiple uh, third-party boards called CAPES. So essentially, BeagleBoard gives you an opportunity to work with the open source community and develop solutions that are along with the open source um, community. And the set of hardwares or CAPES that are available with them, it helps you with expanding uh, your solutions. So I also want to dig a little deeper into what we have on, uh, on this platform. So Polofire SOC FPGA. So Polify SOC is based on uh, RISC-V architecture. It's an SOC FPGA. All the orange bits that you see on this uh, block diagram are uh, part of the microprocessor subsystem. We have a quad-core uh, Linux-capable microprocessor uh, subsystem, a 64-bit RB64 uh, GC. We also have a monitor core that can be used for uh, monitoring application, takes care of booting uh, the system. And we have a huge set of uh, peripherals that are hard IPs connected uh, with the microprocessor subsystem. Uh, we also have an extremely configurable L2 memory subsystem that helps you configure the system or partition the system so that you can have SMP as well as AMP uh, in the same system. You can do extremely deterministic AMP applications using uh, the Polify SOC. And all the blue bits that you see on the bottom are the FPGA fabric. So it's our proven, extremely low power uh, FPGA fabric. And you have uh, transceivers that go up to 12.7 uh, gigahertz. Uh, you have LPDDR4 connectivity and a huge range of uh, uh, peripheral support. So the best part about the Polofire SOC being used in a Beagle board is that it gives you extensibility even in hardware. So from an embedded uh, developer's point of view, you don't just have extensibility with capes and other boards that can connect it to the Beagle board. You have extensibility within the device. So with the Polofire SOC, you can actually develop custom hardware within the FPGA fabric and extend the functionality of your Beagle board. So just for a moment, if I think just, just about embedded developers and your interest in what, what you would like to do, and if you are not too keen on developing uh, FPGA or VHDL or Verilog code, we have our own smart HLS tool available from Microchip. It's a, it's a free license you can download from our website. And what, what you get is uh, a, a tool that enables you to write your code in C++. And our compiler is going to help you convert that or compile that code into, uh, into a Verilog. And you can program that into our FPGA fabric. So really, the, uh, your, uh, it, it makes it extremely simple for you, even if you're not familiar with Verilog or VHDL coding, it enables you to work with our FPGAs. If you're interested in learning more about our uh, Smart HLS compiler software, we have a session 
at 2.35 p.m. tomorrow at the theater. Come join us to learn more about our Smart HLS compiler. So I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the BeagleBoard ecosystem. So what you see in the middle is the Beagle 5 Fire, and the latest BeagleBoard, and it comes with a massive ecosystem that supports development, and, and there is a huge community already in place that you can uh, exploit to develop your proof of concept. So to begin with, so the Beagle 5 uh, Fire comes with its own uh, Ubuntu image pre-flashed in the device. It comes with a cockpit application. What you see on the right here is the application that you will see when you connect to the Beagle board and log in. And you have uh, the, uh, you can connect to the system using USB, Ethernet, or the uh, UART port. And you have a, a range of gateway that's available. You have Tickle script support uh, readily available so you can reflash the device with different Linux images or even different bit streams for the FPGA fabric. And it's extremely accessible, easily available for you to go ahead and make modifications to the system. It comes with a, a pretty simple APT-based update uh, option. So all examples that are going to be available for the BeagleBoard can be received into the system just by doing an APT update and installing that in your BeagleBoard. So it became, makes it extremely user-friendly, and most people are familiar with the user interface for, for an Ubuntu Linux. So I also want to give you a snapshot of what else is available. So in the BeagleBoard ecosystem, you go to the BeagleBoard.org website, you will find tens of thousands of projects, all open source, already available for you. So if you're interested, if you have an idea and you want to find a way to put it on hardware, just go to the BeagleBoard.org slash projects. You'll find thousands of projects already submitted with source code available in that. You can pick and choose what you want and put what you want together. Not just open source projects, and you have hundreds of what's called escapes, all the, the daughter cards that you can plug into the Beagle board. So these are boards uh, with, uh, with camera interfaces, with displays, with motor control solutions, and a huge variety of different hardware options readily available. You can pick them up, connect to your hardware, and extend the functionality of the Beagle board. There are also dozens of books. If you want to learn more, if you have uh, students who want to learn more, there are a bunch of books available about BeagleBoard and the ecosystem that you can start working on from scratch, if you're, even if you're new to embedded systems. I also want to point out a couple of things that's, uh, that are available from Microchip that contribute to this uh, vast ecosystem. So if you're, if you're going to be working with the FPGA fabric, we have our Libero SOC design suite. So that comes with over 250 soft IPs that you can program onto this FPGA fabric. And it's all bundled within our Libero SOC suite. And you can, uh, it's not just from Microchip, we also have a bunch of IP cores coming from our ecosystem partners. So depending on what you want to implement, you can just go to our website, download Libero SOC suite. If you get a free silver uh, license, you can download it and use with the Beagle board and you can program and extend the functionality of the BeagleBoard by programming different soft IPs on the FPGA fabric. I also, uh, I just spoke about the uh, Smart HLS software, which is also available on our website. You can download and without even doing uh, a HDL coding, you can extend the functionality. We also have a, a GitHub repository for the Polofire SOC FPGA. And we have solutions not just for uh, Linux. We have uh, bare metal uh, examples. You can program bare metal code onto our FPG, onto our the SOC. We have free RTOS, RTEMS, and a bunch of other Zephyr, a bunch of other uh, RTOS ports also available for uh, for the SOC. And that's all available on the uh, GitHub page for Polify SOC. And not, not just that, we have been working on an ecosystem called the MiFi ecosystem. This is Microchip's initiative to create a, a RISC-V ecosystem, and we've been working with numerous third-party organizations. All the logos that you see on this slide, they all have either tools or, or products or solutions, operating systems or hardware that support Polifier, SOC, FPGA, and they contribute towards developing this uh, community. And each of them have uh, something they, uh, they offer for Polifier, SOC, and the ecosystem. So if you, have, if you like something that you see on this slide, you can reach out to me or reach out to that company, and they will have the solution relevant to Polifier, SOC. 
So all these are solutions that are readily available for uh, the Beagle board, the Beagle fi Fire, and you can pick and choose solutions that are, that are relevant to you and uh, use it in your application. So with, with, this is primarily the reason that we at Microchip started working with the BeagleBoard organization, the expanse of the ecosystem and how they all come together. So really for the Risk Five Summit today, we wanted to put together a demo and uh, we, we were trying to figure out what that demo could be. And we actually spent a lot of time on the BeagleBoard.org project's uh, website to figure out what that demo could be. And that's the longest the time that we took to create the demo, is to figure out what the demo can be, because there were so many of them readily available. So once we decided that we, we thought, well, let's make a, a self-balancing robot. So we did that. And once we did that, everything was readily available as part of the BeagleBoard ecosystem. And in no time at all, we pretty much could put together everything, and we have this demo available. So. So on the top left, you see the, uh, that's the BeagleBoard project webpage, which has the demo, the, all the reference details of the project. You pick up the Beagle 5 Fire, and this is a kit that is readily available that you can, you can buy and to put together this demo. There is a hardware called the Robotics Scape that you see here. So that has all connectivity options for robotics applications. And all we had to do was create a little uh, gateway project that extends the connectivity of the FPGA to, uh, to the robotics scape. Once that was done, the robotics library was also readily available in the BeagleBoard ecosystem. Everything came together extremely quickly to put together this demo. If you want to take a look at this demo, it's readily available at uh, the microchip booth uh, right here, D2. If you have more questions, please feel free to come and talk to me. And if you, if you want any more information about BeagleBoard, uh, the Beagle 5 Fire, all the links are available right here. This was launched um, last week, and it is available readily in stock in all the major distributors. So if you have any questions, come talk to me, and we have a demo at the uh, microchip booth. Thank you for your time.